What's good guys, LM7 here, doing another 2016 review, this time on one of the bigger sets in the wave, Battle on Tekadana. So, let us get into it. Ages 8 to 14, 75, 139, 409 pieces, and is $59.99. Like I said, this is one of the biggest sets in the winter 2016 wave. And as you can see, the box shows some people battling. And then you can see the back of the box, some details, you can see all the weapons, all that fun stuff. Sorry about that light. All right. So we got the uh, decently sized instruction booklet. Let's just flip to a random page somewhere. Here's a decent page. This is uh, starting on bag three, which is the final bag in the set. And the final digital model right here, which looks pretty good. 70 pages. So it is um, mildly long. I don't know, an hour or two. Depends how fast you build. I don't remember how long it took me exactly, but a little bit. The set is over 50 bucks, so you get a brick separator included. So I have like 712 billion of them. But let's get into the minifigures. We'll start off with the least um, important, I guess. And the first minute... Miner. The first minifigure you get is a classic First Order Stormtrooper. Same as in the Battle Pack and all the other sets that he's come in. And he just has standard Clone Trooper head. And we've seen him before. Our next minifigure is another First Order Stormtrooper. But this is the one that uh, caught on to Finn. And decided to battle him with this weapon that can stop lightsaber blades. I don't remember his name. It was like T8R8 or something something like that. I know there's an 8 and a dash in there somewhere. But apparently he's got a bit of a following going on. And it was somewhat, I don't know, fans somewhat like him. He's the same. Clone Trooper head underneath. Our next minifigure is one of uh, the newer ones. And it is Maz Kanata. Pretty good printing. I like the dark red and the, the bright blue. It looks good together. And you can see her face detailing. It's pretty nice. Good torso. No arm printing. And some nice back printing with her little weird helmet thing that she wears. So good. You know, if you're a collector of minifigures, it's your first chance of getting her. I'm sure. I don't know if I'll see her in any other sets. Our next minifigure is Finn, and uh, he's pretty standard for a Finn minifigure. This is the cheapest version to get him in, and um, other than that, it's pretty much just Finn. Similar to the Millennium Falcon, and he does have a double-sided face. So, let's get into the last minifigure, which uh, is also kind of new is the new Kylo Ren with a hairpiece and I think it looks pretty nice it's got the same new lightsaber blade now you can see his face details uh, he's got a normal hairpiece and then he's got this mad angry face too alright and he also comes with this helmet if you wish to use it so let us zoom back into the set real quick and look at some of the features. So I'm going to just move the minifigures out of the way so we can see what exactly this can do. So here is the palace on Takadana that gets attacked by the First Order. First off, <laughs> that's funny, uh, these little pillars, uh, they, they detach from the temple and you can place them wherever you want. You can even see in the box that one of them the one right here 
you can't really see it, but this, this one right here is actually not connected to the temple at all. But you can take those off and put them back on real easy and, and put them wherever you want on the temple. But you get two of them to do whatever you want with. As you can see, you can see right through. You can see my hand behind here. Um, those are just closable doors. And you can shut it real easy, simple. And I actually meant to have them closed before I started, but you just simply slide them open and you can enter the temple. And this next feature, I don't know if it's like debris or rubble or like some kind of booby trap or something, but if you pick up the set and look, you can see the little studs right here. Now there's a button on the back right here that if you push that in, you will push the little studs out. I'm not going to do it because I'm going to lose all of them. But if we place it here, I bet you could maybe see it slightly. You can see me push the button at least. So you push the button and you can shoot some of the little studs out. I don't know, like I said, if it's a trap or rubble or something. I'm not entirely sure, but that's there. So, obviously, I think we should look at a little bit of the detailing. There isn't too many stickers in the set. I think there is two total. So let us focus in on the set. And it's not going to focus because I have the door open. There we go. So we can see this nice little flag. And underneath the flag there is one sticker. And to open the door is another sticker here. But here's a good look at the you know, little temple. And here's the other side of the temple. Uh, with this, I will show the features just while I'm holding it like this. I'm going to show the features and then I'm going to show how they're activated. So we have a tree falling feature, just like that. And it goes back up. So that's, you know, if it gets blown up, you can drop a tree. Or you can just drop the tree on the stormtrooper if you want. And I'll show the function for that in a minute. And then we have this other function. Well, okay, first off. I'm getting a little hit of myself. You can fold the temple to however you want to fold it. So you can fold it all the way in like that if you want to. It's not really nice looking, but you can. Generally, what I like to do is keep the temple at a 90 de degree angle, just like that. So now, another feature is uh, breaking rubble. Just like that, and I'll show you the little feature for that in a minute. And that just falls off, and you can say either got destroyed by TIE Fighters, or you push the rocks to kill Stormtroopers, whatever, whatever your pleasure is with that. And then lastly, there's one last little feature, and it is right here. You can see a little brown chest, and you simply flick a switch, and you can drop the chest out. And then if we can focus on the chest, which we're not going to focus, there we go, focus on the chest, and inside I put the two spare lightsabers, uh, I think it does say to put one of them in there, but that is what I do. So we'll focus back up, and here is the where that goes, and again you just flick a little switch and it pushes it out. So, now that we're on the back side, anyway, we can see all the different little functions. Uh, so like I said, you just simply push out the doors to open them, and then you push this lever here to push those little studs out. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, this right here, this little gear that you spin, is how the chest falls. Lovely. Uh, this little lever here, under where my finger is, if you push that up, so you can see the tree slowly falls. So if I pull it back, you do that. And if you spin this gear, you knock the rubble off. I'm going to show a little closer for better detailing. 
So here is the gear. You spin it, and these two pieces fall off. That's pretty cool. Uh, you spin this lever, and it drops this chest right here. And you flick this switch, this little lever, and it drops the tree. So there is all of that. And that is all the features in the Tachodon set. And as you saw on the back, I didn't mention it because it's not a huge importance, but there is a little, um, a little uh, staircase for Maz so you can get up there. If you really wish to. And I actually put Maz right here when I display it. But so that is it for the battle on Takadana. What are my thoughts about the set itself? Well, frankly, it's kind of expensive. $60 is a little much. It should have been $50, and then no one would complain as much as they do. Overall, it's a nice. You know, a little playset. Lego did a good job on this playset. It has some cool features. Uh, you know, they're playable features. So, maybe they're a little dull for older people or collectors, but they're playable features, and they're pretty cool, actually. You could, if you're a younger kid, you could get some fun out of this set. So, it's not terrible. I think it's pretty cool, actually. Is it my favorite set in the wave? No. But... It is a good Episode 7 set, and you get the two minifigures a lot of people want in cheaper sets, as in Kylo Ren and Finn, and you also get the first time Maz Kanata, plus some more Stormtroopers, which is always accepted. So, there is that. Uh, I know a lot of people bash this set, but it's really not that bad. It's actually a pretty good set. Just a little too expensive. It could even be $39.99. Which probably should have been its real price point, if we're being honest here. But whatever. Anyway, if you like the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate it, and it helps me out. And there's a couple more sets in this wave. So if you'd like to stick around and watch them, you can. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.